Look, as I do my part to accelerate the vaccine distribution and vaccinations, I need the American people to do their part as well. Mask up. Mask up. It's a patriotic duty. It's the only way we ever get back to normal. President Biden and his top medical advisors urged the nation not to let up on efforts against coronavirus as the CDC warns of a possible fourth wave. You know, it's interesting, media. He had to say in there that it's not political. It's not political. It's not political. Here, it's science. Here we, we are with over half a million people dead. And, you know, we, we heard from Dr. Burks this weekend talking about how after the first 100,000, if they had done a better job, if Donald Trump had not been so resistant, they, they would have been able to save so many lives. And here we are, Willie. Uh, I'm, now, <laughs> I'm now hearing lunatics, and I call them lunatics, yeah. uh, that are now, uh, of course, still pushing back on the mask. But now we're saying that if we somehow uh, have something that identifies us as having a vaccine, that we're, we're like part of Satan or the mark of the de I like yeah. The idiocy, our, our Nazi Germany, like the idiocy is just be honest. They're acting recklessly and irresponsibly. They're being stupid. They're following conspiracy theories. They're following a failed uh, uh, a, a game show host uh, and and or a reality TV host. And they don't understand, I guess, because maybe they're such morons they can't understand this. If I want to go to a baseball game with my son, who has a history of upper respiratory issues, I don't want a bunch of idiots sitting anywhere near us in Fenway or in a Little League baseball park that haven't taken the vaccine. Now, if they don't want to take the vaccine and they want to die, that's yeah. their right as Americans. They don't have to take the vaccine and they can die or they can get really sick. They can live in ignorance and stupidity. Or hurt they someone else. have that right, even though they're hurting other people. But please, please, please don't tell me that we can't do something so smart people who actually follow science, who actually want to take care of their children, who actually want to save their neighbors' lives, who actually want to make sure everybody around them is safe, like, they, they can't tell us what to do. And the government, our sports teams, our organizations, our concert promoters, damn well better put together something where you, you can show your vaccine receipt or you can have something on a ticket stub that shows it. I like I, th this anti-science idiocy. You know what? Let them do that under a rock or in their caves. But you know what? The, the time to try to reason with these people has long passed. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Good morning, first of all, guys. Good to see you. It's been a couple of days. Hey. Um, yeah, Very good to see a you. lot of a lot of this thinking, this, you know, anti-government strain of thinking now has seeped into this conversation about vaccines and masks. And we heard it from the CDC director, Rochelle Walensky, yesterday, who basically dropped the pretense, dropped the formality and said, I'm going to drop the script and I'm just going to talk to you right now and say, I have a sense of impending doom was the term she used as the head of the CDC. She said, please continue to wear your masks. I know it feels like the end is around the corner and actually it is, but we're not there yet. Please wear your masks. And to have to hear those pleas and to hear the plea from President Biden, who again talked about politics. This isn't about freedom. Wearing the mask actually, and this is one of the great ironies of the last year, wearing the mask has always been the path to freedom not a violation nope. of your freedom. If you wore the mask early on, if we all wore the mask, we'd be back in school and work and at those ball games you're talking about. So there is, though, this sort of uh, instinctive reaction to government telling people to do something. For a lot of people in this country, they say, I'm not going to do it. You can't tell me what to do. This is about my freedom. Well, what about the health and the freedom of the millions of other people who want to stay healthy and get our country past this moment? Yeah, the selfishness is incredible. The stupidity is incredible. Uh, they've, they've actually, I mean, they, they've taken a, a, a country where uh, we've had people throughout the generations, you know, fight for liberty and fight for freedom, freedom of speech, the freedom to go to the church you want to go to, to, or the synagogue you want to, or the mosque, or not to go at all, right? The freedom of assembly, all of these freedoms, 
these idiots are now saying, I have, a, I have the right to be stupid as hell. I have the right to believe stupid as hell people on Facebook. I have the right to believe in conspiracy theories and make you and your family and everybody around you like in danger, put you in danger. Okay, you do. Uh, you, you really do. So go ahead, like I said, go ahead, go live in your basement, yeah, all right? But, but it's not going to stop us. And, it's, and if we didn't have uh, the guy that we had in the White House over the past four years, that number you're seeing on the screen, according to people who worked for him and helped run his task force, that number on the screen would have been a lot lower. lower. We would have saved more lives, most likely, than people who died in Vietnam. We would have saved more lives, most likely, than American soldiers who died in combat in World War I. We would have saved so many lives. But no, you had to be stupid. You had to believe the stupid guy. I don't know. You really, I can't help you. Nobody mm -hmm. can help you, right? If you still believe in God, maybe get on your knees and pray and ask why it is that your thought system, that your belief system has been so corrupted that you follow QAnon, yeah. that you follow conspiracy theories, that you believe liars on Facebook instead of believing the truth. Well, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the what, what, When did that stop mattering to you? When did the truth stop mattering to you so much that you were willing to put other people's lives at, at risk. Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for, for, for his brother. What, you're doing the opposite. You're going out of your way to kill people. I just want to know why. Mika, I don't so, understand why. I, and I think the you know, added uh, concern here is that in the United States of America, we have access to the greatest scientists and the greatest institutions, Johns Hopkins, you name it. And we had, for over a year, a president running a pandemic, uh, you know, trying overseeing a pandemic in our country, um, where he flouted science, where he laughed at science, where he literally made up stuff along the way and brought not just people, perhaps, who, who were duped, who were lost, who needed to find a place for their anger, which is another discussion. But educated people within the Republican Party are still with him and still acting this way now. When you can actually see the science playing out in real time, the cause and effect of social distancing, the cause and effect of masking, and of course, uh, compared to Trump, the brilliant rollout of this vaccine, which is going faster and faster by the day, just because someone who knows what he's doing is in charge and someone who respects science. But Republicans are not just fighting, uh, distancing. Uh, Trump, Trump supporters, people who are still in that personality cult, aren't just saying mask. Masks are no good. In fact, they spread disease. What? We how stupid. Seriously. Come on. Come on, stay away from household appliances. Look what happened to the flu this stay year. Stay away from the blender, okay? It's, you're, just, you're not meant for it. It's you're painful. not smart enough to handle the basic instructions. That. But it's now vaccines. They've now moved on to vaccines. And you have, you have Donald Trump sending out messages, oh, vaccine, it's all because of me, the vaccine. Well, I'm, uh, people don't have to take the vaccine. Like, half of Americans, half, half of, uh, of Republicans who supported Donald Trump don't want to take the vaccine. Now, he's gone out a couple times and said, yeah, OK, well, yeah, Maybe. yeah, you should take the I greatest vaccine mm. ever. I got one. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. But he's not showing any leadership. But why would he show leadership? He never has shown leadership. And instead, you have these anti-science people who are, are now not only uh, uh, bashing the vaccine, but are also saying, no, we, you know what, there should, we need to make sure that nobody in America knows who took the vaccine and who didn't take, wrong, wrong. Hey, you know what? You know what? You missed the stop. Yeah. The train left the station. Your idiocy that you and the last president together 
helped kill hundreds of thousands of Americans. That stop was like, yeah. it left on January the 20th, and you're just standing there by yourself. And look around at the idiots who are around you, yeah. who were saying no social distancing, who were saying no masking, who, who were attacking the vaccine. If you guys want to stand there on that platform and get sick and kill each other, that's up to you. But we've moved on. Yeah. Stay out of leaders way who want to make sure that we can once again go back to our life. We can once again take our kids to baseball games. We once again can go to concerts. We once again can get moving on with our lives by showing that we were not stupid enough to say no to a vaccine. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.